Let's talk about how to create planes in Fusion 360. All right, let's talk about plane creation. They're pretty important when it comes to adding new features and adding new sketches. The important one that I like to use is the offset plane. You just select one that exists, grab it, and you can drag it out and create an immediate distance. I use this one all the time for creating planes off in space. So from here, we could start a sketch and create an extrusion. Next one I use a lot is the midplane, the ability to select two different faces or objects, and then it grabs one that runs center. You can see these aren't even parallel, um, but they are symmetrical, so it's able to calculate that midplane. I love that one. Another important part about working with planes, you notice you can stretch this. Planes, that's just for visibility and visualization. The planes are infinite. They always stretch, so even though it doesn't look like the plane may reach, so if for in this example, if I were to start a sketch on this plane, if I come over to the left side, even though the plane was kind of in this area, I can still sketch over here. Just think of the plane extending virtually infinitely. Okay, the next one that could be helpful on this part, you have a bunch of rounded features. How do you create maybe a hole or an emboss coming off that rounded tangent face there? Let's use the tangent plane. You can select the object and then you can actually use the angle, but you can use a reference point. Using this as a reference plane, I can manipulate the angle. You can see it shifting along that arc. So that's the angular dimension from that angular starting at zero. Now that we have that plane, we can create our hole or emboss, whatever feature we need to do on this rounded face. All right, so another one that might be helpful is if we wanted to do a plane along the path. What I can do is select the path and drag this along the point. You can notice these little snap points even wake up and notice the distance in the toggle box that allows me to control that. So I can find my point or reference point, or if I have a reference point already sketched on, I could snap to that, that'd be helpful. Okay, so now that we have created this plane, we could start sketching a custom cutter or profile shape. Sketch a circle, we'll begin a sweep. And because we were able to do a plane along that path, we can select that path, creating that cut. One question I've gotten many times over the years is, how do I create a plane where an existing face is? And then I ask, why do you need to do that? And it's because they want to start a sketch on that particular spot where that plane is. And really that's the challenge of just learning a new tool. This face is, you can think of, it already has a plane there. Anytime you want to sketch, you can sketch on a face or a plane. But this. So the question is, does this face act as a plane? And it does. So we've selected this face as a sketcher, but I can come out here in space. You can see it's as if this face was extended, allowing us to use it as a tool or a sketching location. Let's say we want to create an angular boss on the side. How can we create an angular plane to start from? Select the rotation edge, create your angle, type it in if you know it. Now we have that angular plane. Now if I want that off in space, again, just offset that a little bit and come in. It's also worth looking at when you have multiple points, like multiple points, like these three points in space. It'll create a reference plane going through those three. And that's just a few examples of how to create planes within Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.